All right, guys, welcome back. This is our big assignment for the week. Outside of the quarter test at the end of the week that's kind of cumulative, this is the big assignment for proofs for triangles. Now, up until this point, we've done proofs that are pretty um, routine. They, they kind of follow a set pattern. We do the proof, we do the SSS, SAS, and we do CPCTC and we're done. However, that's just to get you into the practice of doing proofs and what's happening in proofs. The, the actual real point of proofs is to actually be able to prove things. So say um, we want to prove a theorem. We want to prove that any time you have an isosceles triangle with a perpendicular line in it to altitude, that that also bisects the angle or something like that. So usually we use them to prove theorems. So what I want to do is I, I want to at least expose you to some different proofs, some more complicated proofs. But I don't think that you're necessarily ready to do these really complicated proofs on your own. So instead what we've done is we've assigned you some problems um, that deal with the complicated proofs but um, provide some help along the way. So there's three assignments here, three pieces here. The first one is reasons only. So they're going to walk through some proofs like this one aren't too bad. Um, other proofs are going to be more challenging but I want you to see some of these problems um, ahead of time. So this one is pretty straightforward. It's similar to what we did last time. So how do I know these two angles are equal to each other? Well, I know I have parallel lines, um, so this is going to be alternate interior angles. Now I could also just type it in here, alternate. So notice alternate interior angles. All right, but notice there's no check along the way, so you actually have to do each of this, these on your, actually I think it would pop up the next step if you do it right. So all right, so BAC and ACB also alternate interior angles. Why do I know AC is congruent to AC? That's reflexive. And then the triangles are congruent. I have angle, side, angle. So angle, side, angle. And then how do I know the additional pieces are congruent? That would be by CPCTC and also CPCTC. Now remember, you can't use CPCTC until we prove a triangle correct. Now sometimes the triangle being congruent to another triangle is given to us. At that point, you're going to have to use CPCTC from the beginning, but we only use it after we've proved at least one set of triangles congruent. And I can submit this answer. All right, now there's, there's more problems. Now look, if you get stuck, the first thing I want you to do, obviously, is to watch this video, which hopefully you're doing right now, and if you're not, there's no way for you to know that I just said that. The second thing I want you to do is I want you to go to this watch video, okay? Now, a few of you clicked on this before, and yes, it is 11 minutes long. You can change the speed here if you want to, but this is going to be really helpful. They're going to walk you through some problems, okay? So this is now available. Anytime that you have a Delta Math assignment, you can always go to this watch help video uh, link. So let's, that's the first one. That, that one's pretty straightforward. The second one is fill the missing step in. And again, notice our triangle shapes are more complicated. Notice that we're trying to give in two sets of triangles, this one and, uh, and or a set of triangle and angles. We have no, this triangle is congruent to that triangle and we know angles. We are trying to get to proving these triangles congruent. Now they're gonna walk you through. Notice they start with CPCTC. The reason being is because we have some congruent triangles. Notice they say a angle ADB and ADC. Um, now notice uh, what we're trying to do here. Two supplementary angles of the same angle are congruent, then they're congruent. We also know that they're trying to say that this is supplementary. So if I'm thinking this through, I see some angles here that we want to prove congruent. One side we did supplementary angles with a set of congruent angles that we just talked about. So I'm going to guess my other statement is going to be um, just like this one where I've got supplementary angles. Instead of ADC and CDE, I think I'm going to go ADB and BDE. And the reason being, um, well, let's see, uh, two angles form a linear pair, they're supplementary. Notice we've got basically the same thing. Now, it's not going to be that every single time you do these problems, all right? There's going to be some more complicated ones. But the idea here is read through the proof. Think about what they're doing. Don't just think about like, well, what does this normally do, okay? Read through the pr proof. Try to see if you can follow the flow of logic. That's really the big thing I want you to do here is follow the flow of logic rather than just rotely plugging in things because that's what we always do, okay? Um, and then let's look at our last one. 
okay, determine proof correctness. So if the proof might not be correct, it may be correct. But once again, what I want you to do is I want you to read through the proof. Does it make sense? Is there a place where, where it doesn't make sense? Sometimes it skips a step. Let's just say, for example, I say that uh, step five is wrong. I'm not actually looked at this one. So I'd say it is, well, I have the option of just saying it's correct, all right? And then you're done. I have the option of putting it's incorrect at step number five. Now look at what I have. Either the two things you're looking for is either a missing step. So maybe it says it's like side angle side, but, but they only pr proved a side and an angle or a wrong reason. Maybe they say the angles are congruent and you, they say alternate interior, but they should be corresponding or they should be vertical, but they say uh, reflexive, something like that. So find the first mistake in the proof and then um, say why it's incorrect unless the proof is correct and then it'll just be correct. Now, I'm not asking for a lot for these. I'm asking for two correct on each of these. If you get one wrong, you have to do a third correct one. All right, so I, I recognize it's hard work, but you're in the advanced class. You're capable of doing this hard work, um, and there's always videos there to help, this video and then also the videos with each individual one that I want you to reach there. You also have to show the example option. You can also, if you get one wrong right off the bat to see how they are explaining it, that's another way. You have lots of resources at your disposal so exhaust those first and then if you're still stuck come talk to me also this is just one assignment if you decide that this is you know really difficult and you've spent a bunch of time on it you know you might be better served studying for your quarter test so I, I do want to provide challenging work and this is going to be probably the hardest thing that we've assigned all year so if you have troubles it's okay you're not alone use the different resources, do the best you can, and if you get stuck, you can always Zoom with me and we can, we can talk through one or two of these. What I don't want is I don't want your first step to be like, I don't really know how to do this, I'm not trying, or I don't really know how to do this, I'll ask Mr. Arslane. Um, I'm glad to help, but I only have so many hours in the day, so the first thing I want you to do is just go to those help videos, see if those help. If they help, great. If they don't help, I'm glad to help. So uh, let me know. Um, hopefully this goes well. This is gonna be a hard assignment, but you can do it. I believe in you.